So, can I fit this speed control from Amazon? This is about 50 pounds. Um, just gonna pull it apart, have a quick look inside. Wires look pretty heavy grade, quite thin insulation, but quite a lot of copper in them. So let's just pull an end off, see if we can get it out and have a little look at the board. Don't really know that much about electronics, but uh, I just see how it compares to the other one that I was using. Well, that is two hours of my life when I get back. <laughs> um, doesn't seem to work. So that's going to go back to Amazon. <clears throat> I suppose one of the frustrating things is to know how I LED doesn't seem to do anything at all. I followed the uh, instructions for setup procedure, but that looks like it's a no go. So, um, got the motor out. So, I suppose I'll make a mount to fit the uh, brushless motor on there. So, part way through making adapter. So I had this laser cut uh, disc, got a few of these, which is what I used for the front hubs on the Jaguar. Uh, so the motor has this uh, raised section, shoulder. So I've started from one of those, drilled a hole in the middle. That needs at least one flat on it to clear where it bolts onto the gearbox. And I've machined that step, so we're trying to mimic that. And then we've got this plastic drive, which kind of fits in there, which I'm trying to replicate with uh, this piece of steel, which I've turned out off a bit of bar, and then slotted it, and then to finish off the shape, so that bit that goes on, which will be the drive, goes in there and it's got a grub screw hole that I've drilled there to go on the motor shaft. So difficult to do one hand but that's the plastic bush pressed into there so that is now my motor coupling. So next thing we need to do is work out how far up the motor needs to be or away from this plate actually it'll be around the other way how far it will be well what the offset is there first of all as to how far out that is and then where the motor needs to be mounted so that is test fitted so this is the spacer I've made can't put the coupling in yet because I've got grub screw which is a bit annoying but that is the motor mounted uh, this weighs 740 grams and this one weighs 4.1 kilos 4.15 so there is a useful weight saving um, I know the motor doesn't look that big, but uh, it's supposed to handle a skateboard. What do you think? Maybe a 100 kilo total weight at about 30 miles an hour. So this should do a similar, let's just turn that off. This should do a similar kind of uh, operation in here. Thank you for watching again. Uh, get the speed control hooked up during the week and the evenings.